challenging practice. Question one. So ABCD is a square. The sides are 10. So BE is equal to EC. So BE is equal to EC, meaning that this is 5 centimeters and this is also 5 centimeters. So find the area of the shaded triangle. So over here we have this triangle where the base is 5, the base is 5, and the height is 10. So area of triangle will be half base times height, which is half, the base is 5, and the height is 10, so the answer is 25 cm squared. So for question 2, ABCD is a rectangle, so ABCD is a rectangle, 18 centimeters by 8 centimeters. So AE is equals to ED, so AE is equals to ED, so therefore this is 9 centimeters, and AF is equals to FB, so this is equals to this, meaning that FB is equals to 4 centimeters. So if we look at this triangle over here, the base is 4 and the height is 9. So area is equal to half base times height. So the base is 4 and the height is 9. So this answer will be 18 centimeters squared. Question 3. Find the length of DF. So DF is here. So BC is equal to 4, so BC is equal to 4, so AD has to be equal to 4 too. So if AD is equal to 4, DF also has to be 4, since they are the same. So in this case, this is 4 inches. So what is the area of the shaded triangle? So in this case, DF is the base, and the height would be AD over here and the height is actually 4 so the area of the triangle will be half base times height and the base is 4 and the height is also 4 so the answer is 8 inches square and for question 4 question 4 is an interesting question so we have a rectangle, 12 centimeters by 5 centimeters. So 12 centimeters by 5 centimeters. So DBE is 4 centimeters. So find the shaded portion. So instead of finding the shaded portion, we can find the area of the whole rectangle and subtract the unshaded portion. So how do we find the area of the unshaded portion? So over here, this has to be 8 centimeters. So the area of unshaded region will be half, the base is 8 and the height is 5, so this is 20 centimeters square. So the area of the shaded region will be equal to area of the whole rectangle, which is 12 times 5, subtract the unshaded region, which is 20. So this is 60 minus 20, which is 40 cm square. Problem solving. Question 5. We have to find the area of the shaded triangle over here, CEF. But instead of finding the area of the shaded triangle, we can first find the area of the whole square, subtract the unshaded region. So first, let's figure out the area of the square. So area of the square would be 8 centimeters multiplied by 8 centimeters. So this would be 8 times 8, which is 64. Now we're going to find the area of the unshaded region. And let's label them one, one, A, B, and C. So A, B, and C. So area of unshaded region A will be half base times height. And this height is 4 centimeters. So this would be 8 centimeters square. And the area of region B would be half times base and the height is also 4 so this is 16 and lastly for area of C 
so we have here four centimeter as well so it's half base and height which is also 16 so the area of the shaded region so area of the shaded triangle will be equals to 64 which is the whole square subtract the unshaded regions 8 and 16 and that will give you the answer now for question 6 over here the parameter of the rectangle ABCD is 256 the length is 3 times as long as the width so this is the width if the width is 1 unit the length will be 3 units the length will be 3 units and the width is 1 unit so together there are let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Altogether, there are 8 units. So 8 units is equals to 256. So if we are doing the math, we're trying to find... Let's find 1 unit first. So let's do some simple math. So 4 units will be half. So half will be 128. And 2 units will be half of that will be 64. So 1 unit is... 32 so one unit is 32 so the width is 32 and the area would be 32 times the width the length will be 32 times 3 which is 96 so the area would be 32 times 96 inches question 7 so ABCD is a rectangle with area 72 square centimeters. The length of AD is three times the length of AE. So the length of AD is three times the length of AE. So these are all the same. So over here, BF is equals to eight. So BF is equals to eight. If BF is equals to eight, this is gonna be four centimeters. This is four centimeters. And this is also four centimeters. So together, it is going to be 12 centimeters. So to find a width of the rectangle, to find a width, we have to take the area divided by the length, which is 12. And the answer is 7. Next, find the area of the shaded region. So for the area of the shaded region, we can try to do it this way. First, we can take out this part over here the one that's highlighted in yellow, and transfer this part over here. So now we have this region, and we're trying to find this area of the new rectangle. So how do we find the area of this new green rectangle? So the length is going to be 8, and the width is going to be 7. So the area of the shaded region, shaded area, will be equal to length times width, which is 8 times 7, which is 56 cm square. Problem solving. So for this question over here, students can use the calculator. So this is triangle 1, triangle 2, triangle 3, and triangle 4. If you look at the numbers, we realize that the numbers actually double from 4 to 8, 8 to 16, so the next one should be 32. So for the area of triangle 5, you will be half times base, which is 32, times height, which is also 32, and the answer is 512. So let's look at the question, the next question. So for the next question, we have to find the triangle in the pattern that will have an area of 32,768. So for the triangle 5, Triangle 5 is here, the area is 512. So the next one, triangle 6, will have an area of 2048. Triangle 7 will have an area of 8192. And triangle 8 would have an area of 32768. So the triangle in triangle 8 will have an area of 32000. 768. Question 2. Problem solving. So to solve this problem, let's look at the question first. So we have a square 
with size 20. So AX is equals to XB, BY is equals to YC, Z, CZ is equals to ZD, and AW is equals to WD. So what it means is the sides are 20. The sides are 20. And all the small little length over here are the same. So to find the area of the shaded region, what we can do is to find the whole area, the whole area of the square, and some pretty unshaded region. So the first unshaded region that we're going to find is area WDC. WDC is here. We're going to find this area. The base is 10. So where is the base? The base is here. This is the base, and the base is 10. And the height is 20. So the area of WDC is 100 centimeters square. Next, we're going to find the area of WPQ. So where is WPQ? WPQ is here. So this is WPQ. And the area will be half base times height. And the base over here is 5. So it's half times 5 times 10, which is 25 centimeters square. And likewise, the area of XPB has to be 25 as well, since it is symmetrical. So now to find the area of the shaded region, we will have to find the area of the whole square, which is 20 times 20, minus the area of WDC, which is 100, minus the area of WPQ, which is 25, minus the area of XPB, which is 25. So the answer is 250.